And welcome to this segment of Democracy 2014. Joining me now is George Brico. He is Republican and he is running in Michigan's 9th Congressional District. And we appreciate you joining us today. Thank you for having me, Chuck. Um, you're a small business owner. You have some gardening supply stores, uh, some fertilizing stores. So you know what it's like to try and make ends meet as a small business person. We're always talking about creating jobs. From your vantage point, what is it that needs to be done in Michigan to make sure that we're creating the jobs to have a good economy and make sure as many people as possible are employed? Uh, we need to uh, revisit our restrictions on small business. We have too much uh, bureaucracy in creating a business. It seems as if big corporations have the advantage on the small business owner. And I believe that that is what's putting the burden and the stress on the small business owner, such as myself. Uh, and if you're elected by the voters of the 9th Congressional District to go to Washington, what kind of message will you send in the halls of Congress to relate to business? We need to address the issue of how our politicians in Washington, D.C. are working in favor of big corporations. It's putting a major, major stress on small business owners. If, when I am elected and I go to D.C., I will be the voice for the voiceless. I will be the voice for the people that are struggling in Michigan. I personally understand and feel the struggles of the economic collapse here in Michigan. It's, I myself have, was forced out of business in 2008, which I had to reinvent myself, and it was these gardening industries. That was because of the economy? Because of the economy. Wasn't the, the economy was bad, but we noticed that the banks were calling in the loans, whether you were delinquent or not. We were never late on a payment. Yeah but they forced us out of business because of the collapse. It was just restructuring on, on the bank that we were dealing with. And how did you reinvent yourself? I, you know, I worked for one of my friends who was an attorney and I was keeping an eye on the medical marijuana laws and I said to myself, look at all these gardening stores opening up, catering mm -hmm. to these uh, patients, the, the people that are growing in this industry. So I said, let me, let me check this out. I've worked in retail in the past, so I opened up my first store in Madison Heights, which is in the district, and it flourished. Six months later, I opened up another one in Lapeer. And here I am today, two gardening stores and one fertilizer store, fertilizer manufacturing company. Necessary ingredients for the marijuana business. Uh, well, oh, yeah, oh. you need the tools to build the house. So you <laughs> That's to, one way of putting yeah, it. <laughs> you have to come to our, you can come to my establishment and obviously if you needed soil, fertilizers, you would come to our place and we'll take care of you. Uh, one other point, uh, given that business, how concerned are you that this could actually be contributing to uh, Michigan and America's drug wars? It, the drug laws are unconstitutional. Nowhere in the Constitution does it designate, the 10th Amendment protects, it, it, say, it states clearly that the government has no say so in prohibition. That being said, we see who the drug laws affect. They affect minorities and the poor. If we keep this, the course that we are going now, we are going nowhere, running into a brick wall. We see many uh, people that are less fortunate that are affected by the drug laws. So it's time to legalize marijuana? It's time to address the issue of marijuana. All right, roads, that's something that uh, Michiganders complain about all the time. Yeah. If you go to Congress, we're a donor state, what will you do, what can you do to be able to make sure that we get the money needed to fix our roads? I'm a businessman. We need to address the issue of spending in Washington, D.C. Every three seconds, our deficit goes up $150,000. That's a lot of money. Before we address the issue of roads, we need to address the issue of careless spending and wasteful spending. Washington, D.C. is broken. Uh, for the past 30 years, our deficit has increased $17 trillion. That being said, before we look at the, uh, bringing money back, we need to make cuts, and then we'll address the issue of where to spend. Quick final question. Uh, you're Chaldean by descent. Uh, given what is going on over in the Middle East, uh, do you believe that the uh, present administration, the Obama administration, is taking the right approach to dealing with all that is happening in that region? Our foreign policy is broken. We, we mingle in other countries' businesses that we don't have, to, we have no business being in. Uh, we see that our foreign policy is what caused the chaos in Syria. We need to stop funding uh, these terrorists overseas. And I think the issue of us dealing with this issue is addressing our foreign policy. All right, George Brico, thank you so much for coming in and sharing Democracy 2014 with us today. Good luck on the campaign trail. Thank you, Chuck, for the opportunity. And that's this segment of Democracy 2014. George Brico, Republican, 
michigan's ninth congressional district.